Happy hour ends with days of worry for Kim after her credit card case gets snatched from her purse. This is how easy it is to unzip my purse, reach in, and grab it. Last month, she sat in a crowded bar, her back turned from the purse hanging on the bar chair. Sitting there talking to my friend, pretty oblivious to what was going on around me. A crowded bar can make for easy purse pickings. The security camera video shows a bar crowded with happy hour customers. We've blurred it because we don't want to label any patron as a purse pickpocket. But the victim believes in this crowd, a suspect was able to maneuver close to her and steal her credit cards. In less than an hour and before she noticed the case missing, Three charges made at the Apple store showed up on her credit card, primarily gift cards totaling $10,000. I was amazed how much, and the Apple store thought it was pittance. They said, you know, $10,000 is nothing to them. The video shows men right behind her, and one leans in several times, but there's no clear evidence to call him a suspect. We work with a lot of retail and restaurants and bars. Fact Finder showed Matt shot of complete security that video from the evening of the theft. People that are... Uh, committing these crimes have done it many times, have practiced it many times. You know, they know the perfect environment. Her driver's license and credit cards were placed and placed in a new case. Kim says she won't stop meeting friends for happy hour. From now on, I'm not going to just leave it hanging on the bar stool. Her purse will always belly up to the bar. Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. A detective on the case has requested that Apple provide video of the purchases made with the victim's credit cards. And we ask Apple corporate media whether $10,000 in gift cards sold in minutes of each other should have been a red flag. So far, no word back. I've done that a minute.